in this temporal mandibular joint scan, we can see the patient's left joint is relatively normal. As we progress from the center of the joint towards the lateral pole, we can see the cortex is relatively normal. And as we go towards the medial pole, we can also see that there's a nice cortex and nice contour to the left joint. In contrast, when we go to the other joint, the right joint, we can see that as we progress from the center of the joint towards the lateral pole, we lose contour integrity of the surface of the condyle and we create that beaking effect towards the frontal part of the joint. Although the medial pole does have some cortical integrity, it still has little breaks in the cortex. When we look from the frontal view, we can see the same kind of thing, that the joint loses its integrity. In fact, look at the articular eminence in this spot. We lose contour and integrity of the articular eminence as well. What's nice about this is we can also take the uh, scan is reproduced into a three-dimensional image. We can see here the joint is quite diseased and broken down on both the condylar surface as well as the articular eminence. And when we compare that to the other joint, the left joint, it looks relatively normal, well positioned, and healthy. This is a great tool for diagnosing and treat treatment planning temporal mandibular joints.